We are live in um, 10 o'clock, not 8.30 a.m. No, you're not dreaming. I sent a message this morning because I knew I wasn't going to be able to honor the 8.30 a.m. So I figured I'll just communicate with everybody and just make it happen. Hello, Virginia, Stephen, Navi, IDT, James, D.A. Jenkins. I see you all. Y'all ready for some Mindset Sunday? Because it's about to go down, down, down. Uh, Facebook, good morning to you as well. I appreciate the shares, the likes, the love, the hearts. So, uh, Periscope, swipe to the left. And um, uh, give us a share if you're an iPhone or swipe up if you're an Android. And give us a share to your followers on Twitter, Facebook, Periscope. And also, hello, Lisa Ray on Facebook. I see you. You can give us a share on the very bottom left. There's that little plus sign. You can actually invite people to this generic um, training that we're about to do right now. My name is Ali Medawi and I'm an entrepreneur and I've been in business for the last seven years, five of them which I've been working from home and I love it. I've built businesses in six countries and 25, uh, 27 states in the United States of America. I am an author of a book that's coming out on July 25th called The Lion Network Marketer and I love, love, love network marketing. I love e-commerce businesses and business overall. So uh, on Periscope, don't forget, see if you do what I'm about to do right now, tap the screen like that. You're going to see some hearts that are trickling up. We are on a mission to a million hearts. We are over 310,000 right now. So hop us out. Let Ali know, you know what? We kind of dig what you have to say and share with us. There they are. Trust me, I'm worth the hearts. I can promise you that. Alrighty, so let's get right ahead and right into it. So uh, today's Mindset Sunday topic is all about the difference between the entrepreneur's mindset and the employee mindset. Now, disclaimer, and before I even go into it, I've been both. I loved making money as an employee. I enjoyed it. I had no choice but to make it happen. So I understand at life you have to do what you have to do first before you do what you want to do as an entrepreneur and a visionary and all that stuff. So don't think I'm taking jabs at employees, right? Family members of mine are still employees right now, right? Uh, so, so make sure you understand I'm not bashing anyone or taking jabs at anyone. But if you want to become an entrepreneur, you need to understand the difference of a mindset. So there are certain things that you can do in entrepreneurship that are characteristics in employee uh, lifestyle. So let's go into those. So an entrepreneur does not have a day off. Make peace with it. We do not have a day off. Doesn't matter if it's Saturday. Doesn't matter if it's Sunday. Doesn't matter if it's Friday night. We don't have a day off. Employees look forward to that day off because they are already frustrated and don't like what they have going on at their jobs right away, right? So let me be clear though. I work three to four hours a day from home, comfortable, and if I do actually work anywhere else, I'm talking, communicating, right? So I, I wouldn't consider that hard, crazy, hard work. Now, it's, it's, at times it could be mentally exhausting because you're continually talking to people, Right, you continually are in different meetings, but employees look forward to the day off as an exit strategy. Entrepreneurs have no day off. Entrepreneurs design their own schedule. Uh, employees, someone else tells them when to come to work. You know, you're a grown person, and you're told what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Again, I did it. I had to do it. I, I did very well. I made money. I bought a house. Life is good. But I decided I didn't want somebody making my schedule for me. That's how I went uh, to the route of uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, an entrepreneur create their lifestyle. See, they, I make my schedule for work around my lifestyle. Before I do anything, I ask my wife, hey, what do you want to do? When do you want to go anywhere? How do you want to do it? And once I schedule my personal life first, then I schedule my businesses around my personal life. In employment, it's the opposite. You have to live around your job schedule. Right, you have to uh, make parties and events on the weekends because you can. It's a weekday and that kind of stuff. Entrepreneurs love challenges. I love challenges. That's what we love when somebody says it won't work. We're like, I'm gonna show you, right? Uh, an employee just, you know, kind of plays it safe. Like I don't, I don't need no challenge. I'm good. I'll just as long as I do my grind nine to five, I can do what I do. I know my routine. I don't need to do anything challenging, right? Um, the entrepreneur sacrifices for others. See what I do? I don't do it for the money. I can make great money in any job, but I'm doing it because I know it creates a residual uh, uh, income. I know that it creates a, a, a passive income from generation to generation to generation. And I do it because I'm sacrificing my time and myself for the sake of my family, for the sake of my wife, for the sake of my mom. That's why entrepreneurs sacrifice for others. The employee usually says me first. What's in it for me? Why would I pick up extra hours? 
Why would I do the extra this? Why, why would I do that? Like, what's in it for me? The entrepreneur goes over and beyond what they actually get paid for. See, in entrepreneurships, and Les Brown always talks about this, if you're an entrepreneur, at first, you're going to do many things that you will not necessarily get paid for, but those things will set you up for the future for much more income that you'll never actually have to work for. So that's entrepreneurship mindset. In the employee world, you do just enough to not get fired. And guess what? Your boss pays you just enough not to quit. That's not an entrepreneurship. The reason I'm sharing with you the characteristics so you can identify your attitude within your business. Just so you know, okay, man, I'm treating my business like, like if I was an employee. So you need to know the difference. Entrepreneurship. Love to keep learning. It's a continual process. If you are anywhere in my house, this is literally what every single day grind for me, right? I'm always reading. I'm always with audiobooks. I'm always listening to YouTube videos. I'm always jumping on different webinars. I'm always going to different seminars and so on and so forth. Why? Because I need to keep on learning to keep on giving value. Like, you guys right now stop giving me hearts on Periscope. What, what do I have to do? What am I doing wrong? What, what did I do? <laughs> so, I love to keep on learning. So, I keep on giving the value to every single person. Good morning, Gary. Ah, oh, there they are. So, that's the secret. I have to ask for them. So, the, the, uh, the uh, employee gets upset when a new thing is introduced. You know, and I used to do that. I remember when I was in a restaurant in Ruby Tuesday years ago. And, you know, oh, we have a new menu implementation. And I was the first one, the leader of the kitchen. Like, oh, I can't believe we have to learn new plates. I can't believe we have to train new things, right? And and it trickled down to everybody else that is out there. That's okay, James. We love you. Good morning. Good morning. So, so entrepreneurship, we love to keep on learning because we're learning. We're like, oh, my God, I'm going to use that and teach it to everybody else. Entrepreneurs look... For the solution, as I like to call it, they're solutionists, right? Uh, employees, uh, and I love everybody, but I used to do it myself, complain about the problem. You know, it's like, ah, oh, you see, we have to do this now. Oh my God, I can't believe we have to deal with that. Oh my God, I can't believe we have to deal with that. But an entrepreneur says, hey, let's figure out how we can solve that problem. They're solutionists, not problemists. Entrepreneurs are creative. They'll find creative ways. Let me share with you, you know, uh, and, and some of you know when I had, you know, the, the emotional roller coaster or the financial roller coaster, that is. You know, especially after Hurricane Sandy hit, uh, you know, we had traditional businesses with the family. We thought that that's it. We made it, right? Life is good. And we started getting into all these different businesses. And uh, next thing you know, um, I was like dead broke, uh, going behind in my mortgage. Everything is just going wrong. What am I going to do? So I became creative. I would go to Craigslist and I would look for washers and dryers that people are giving away for free. And I would pick them up and go sell them in the scrap metal place, right? And then I'm like, oh my God, I don't have money for gas. I don't have money for tolls. What am I going to do? So I realized that PayPal at the time, right? If you have a debit card from PayPal, it actually takes 10 days to process. So I started treating it like a debit card, um, like a credit card. So I swipe for gas and I'm like, I have 10 days to make that $30 or $40 in that card so I don't go overdrawn in my account. And then I realized, my God, what am I going to pay with the tolls? I don't have any cash. I don't have easy pass. It got suspended or whatever the case may be. And then I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. If I go through the easy pass, and I'm not telling you guys to do bad stuff. I'm just sharing with you how creative I had to be to get myself out of the financial hole. And you go through the easy pass and then it, it will read no tag. And then you'll get a little yellow you know, thing like a ticket. And then it says that you have 90 days to pay it. Otherwise, we'll hit you with a $50 ticket. And I'm like, oh, my God, I have 90 days to pay 50 cents. I'm going to go back and forth in that easy pass. So I was creative to create my own budget to make it happen with no matter what. Now, that's an entrepreneur. An employee needs their hands, their hands held. If they don't have the solution, they just paralyze. Like, well, I don't have a pen, so I can't write. I don't have paper. I don't have a website. I don't. I can't do anything. No, man, get creative. Figure it the hell out. That's the whole opportunity of being an entrepreneur. It's the fun part because you get. To, it's like a puzzle. And you got to figure it out. An entrepreneur is independent. They they do their own thing, right? An employee waits for someone to give them the tools, someone to give them the solution, someone to say, "Hey, here's your checklist. Go ahead and do it." Entrepreneurs create their own checklist. I create my own process. I create my own system. I have my own payroll system, and I'm not sharing it to brag. I'm just letting you know. I'm not waiting for someone else to do it for me. 
I'm going to create it myself and pass it on to other people. And that way you can cultivate your mindset and be creative and independent. Last, well, few things. Entrepreneurship is not, um, it's not a switch that you can turn on and off. Entrepreneurship is a lifestyle. And not everybody can be an entrepreneur. Not everybody can handle the idea of being at work every single day, although it's from your own freaking home for two hours a day. But still, call it work, right? Entrepreneurship is a lifestyle. Not everybody can handle it. The, the, the reason why many, especially couples, they bump heads because one is entrepreneurial, the other one is employee-minded. One says, hey, we're going to conquer the world and we're visionary and we're going to get rich. And the other one says, but it's our day off. We should stay home. And you're like, hmm, right? So you got to understand that the reason your spouse might not understand your entrepreneurial vision is because you are not doing a good job on creating that vision and including them in it. So you got to take ownership of that. I certainly had to take ownership of that, right? You got to include them in the whole process and incentivize them. All right, Mr. Entrepreneur or Mrs. Entrepreneur, you saying that you have this big vision? Make sure you tell that person that's within your life, hey, listen, if you help me out, I'm going to help you up with 10%, 20% of the whole process. If you work with me, engage them, right? And it's going to be a process. If you cannot get your own spouse to buy into your vision, no one will buy into it. So whenever you have a spouse that doesn't get it, guess what? That's a good thing. You have a challenge in front of you, right? Challenger. So my challenge and my opportunity was always to, I'm going to get my wife. To buy into what I do and she's going to believe in it and she's going to support me and she's going to get paid from it too, right? Because if I can get my wife to buy into what I was doing, I can get anybody else to buy into it as well. So that's, uh, you know, entrepreneurship is a lifestyle. Employment is a must do. You have no option but to actually go out there and work, right? Last but not least, an entrepreneur is an investor. See, I invest in my business. I have a coach that I pay every single month, a few coaches that is, that I pay every single month. Well, most people say, coach, I'll just go to YouTube. Yeah, okay, great. You have been going to YouTube for years. <laughs> Nothing is really changing, right? So talk to your sponsor, talk to your upline, talk to your boss, talk to whomever. And if you can't get to that next level, to that next threshold, you need to consider hiring somebody. And I share this with you because the ANMP, the Association of Network Marketing Professionals, millionaires, People that made eight, one guy, uh, Armando Puyol, look him up, he makes $82,000 a day, a day. Guess what? He said get a coach because he has one. You always need that person to hold you accountable and take you to the ne next place. Kobe Bryant had a coach, right? So be an investor. Buy books. You know, go to webinars. Go to seminars. Go to these different things. Invest in yourself. It's an investor's mindset because investments automatically will have return of investment. It could be monetary, it could be educational, or it could be whatever, but always invest, invest, invest. Embrace the mindset of investing. An employee is a consumer. See, in the world, especially in the United States, the United States, the, the way the system is set up, it's a business. And there's two components. You buy or you make money. You're, you're either spending or you're making money. An entrepreneur makes money. An entrepreneur figures out, okay, if I market this pen, I'm going to make money from it. A customer says, how much is that pen? And they spend money on it. So you better understand what side of the coin you are in. Are you an investor or are you a consumer? Are you in your company just because you're excited about the product or the service? Or are you actually identifying an opportunity in regardless of what challenge that it has, regardless of the hard problems or whatever the, the case may be of the process, are you an entrepreneur? I challenge you to be. I challenge you to go out and figure it out because I know I can. I know you can, but the question is, will you? See, that everybody can. I don't care what anybody says, right? Everybody can lose weight. Everybody can be healthy. Anybody can quit smoking. Anybody can do better things. Anybody can do godly things, but we don't want to. Straight up, we just don't want to. So that's the process that you're going to have, like, a little bit of a battle or a fight that you have to fight with right now, and I'm here to help you out. I'm here to assist you, and I believe in you, and I know you should do the same. Um, where are we? Let's check it out. So uh, it depends what you're looking from right now, what platform. If you are on Facebook, so this is for you. If you are on Periscope, then the top one is for you because it's going to be flipped. Facebook has this funny mirror image and thing. So EmpoweredSelf2016.com, July 23rd, we're having this event that is generic with Kevin Marino, million-dollar earner, with Bob Heilig, multiple six-figure 
per let me let me let me put that in perspective per webinar we're going to have Nadia Melton, the queen of branding and marketing, that speaking on multiple national stages, not necessarily for her company because she's doing her own thing right now, right? So I so, uh, spoke for Darren Hardy and so many different people. John Melton, within his network marketing career, recruited over a 1,000 people and dominates social media. And this guy right here, yours truly, who literally took a home-based business and turned it into a multi-million dollar operation for different companies and now created a product and a brand for my own name where I have my own product, I have my own system, I have my own payroll, I have my own employees and different things. So we'll give you all that information in PowerShelf2016.com. I hope that you are an investor, not a consumer, and you take advantage. It's $100 and you get a copy of my book, the Lion Network Marketer.com, that is coming out on July 25th. You get that with a warm message signed from me. Um, and then you have all the secrets of everything that I've done. Also, if you want to get a sneak peek uh, of the book or, uh, or if you want to uh, listen to my MLMNation.net, go to, again, it depends where you are, Medawi Enterprise, right? Because I have to, to show you both because you might be reading the backwards. So you can take a screenshot, MedawiEnterprise.org. And uh, also in there, um, you can see if you qualify for a private coaching session at no cost to you, but you got to take that survey to make sure that you are the right person to get that free um, um, uh, coaching program. Anyhow, thank you all. Today was Mindset Sunday at 10 o'clock instead of 8.30. Tomorrow's Practical Monday is going to come with a big bang. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm passionate. I'm awesome. I'm amazing. I'm a millionaire, right? That's the mindset that you got to have. And I'll see you all tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. with some nice ready-to-go coaching session for you. See y'all soon. Thanks, everybody.